Hey, Calvin, you're in a turkey coma. Are you in a turkey coma? Cal's in a turkey coma. See if anybody comes live. We may not. It's Thanksgiving evening. Giving this a shot. If nobody comes on, no worries. We totally get it. Oh, somebody came on. Hey, CJ, Amy C. You just woke up from your turkey coma. Hey, Chester Marie, how are you? Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. We're just chilling out. We're watching the Patriots. It's our team. We're in a battle against the Minnesota Vikings. And uh, hopefully we win. Yeah, Calvin is super sleepy. He, uh, I gave him a little bit of turkey today. Hey, Annette, how are you? How, how, how are things in uh, Germany? We had our Thanksgiving holiday today and uh, had a great time with my family. Thanks, Amy. Happy Thanksgiving to you also. Hey, there's seven people on and one like. Everybody who's on, can you guys hit the like button? I would totally appreciate that. My boy, my sweet boy Calvin is is sleepy. He had a he had a very uh eventful day at the uh at the family Thanksgiving celebration. Right, Calvin. Oh, look at you, honey. I love you. You're such a good boy. Thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Amy. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Thanks, Annette. Appreciate it. Thanksgiving is actually my favorite holiday. Christmas is a very, very close second, though. I really love Christmas. It's just such a, you know, it's such a positive time. It's a, it's, you know, it's the period of giving back, and I love that. Did you guys have a nice holiday today? Yeah, it is a lot of work. I, I made, uh, so we had Thanksgiving at my folks' house. We had uh, about 25 people at my, my parents' house, and my, my contribution was I had to make the salad, and I had to make three full bowls of salad for everybody there, and uh, it ended up working out fine, but... It is a lot of work. My my mom does a lot for Thanksgiving, and uh, I have a ton of respect for what she does. Yeah, he looks comfy. Trust me, I'm comfy with him, too. <laughs> it's, uh... Oh, no holiday. So, Annette, does Germany have a similar holiday? Like, anything where you guys, like give thanks. So our holiday has a lot to do with uh, the Native Americans that uh, inhabited, you know, the America before the white settlers got there, you know, the European settlers got there, I should say. Um, but it's a, I love the holiday. It's just a good time to reflect on things. Hey, Yvette, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for being here. We just came on live unexpected, but thought it would be fun. I'm kind of multitasking. I'm, I have one eye in the Patriots-Vikings game and the other eye on my boy here who's had a very, very, very long day. He had a great day. Oh, okay, Yvette, uh, Annette. I was trying to uh, pronounce that, and I really couldn't, but I get the gist of it. So it's more of a religious holiday than a secular holiday. Um, we, we have, you know, we, we have basically something similar, but not quite, it's not quite religious, it's secular. 
Yvette, hey, you're up. Is, uh, is Jack up? <laughs> wow, we have 10 people on, on Thanksgiving Eve. That's awesome. 10 people on and five likes. If you're new on to this video, please, please give a like. Hey, Jack Minvan, how are you? Talk. So the Pats made a big boo-boo. Harvest Thank Feast. Thanks, and I appreciate the uh, translation. God, I wish I knew more than one language. I am so jealous of, like, a lot of my subscribers who know, like, multiple languages. Like, a lot of languages. I should know Portuguese. Like, my parents are born in the Azores, but they moved to the United States at a very young age. And... Um, they predominantly spoke English in the home because they, you know, they know English very well. And I kind of wish they spoke more Portuguese to me because I definitely would have um, benefited from that. Uh, I'm, I'm watching the uh, football game with my left eye and the phone on my right eye, and the team that I'm rooting against made a really nice play right now. I guess on the bright side, with him being so tired, I don't think he'll uh, go to the treat, <laughs> the treat spot too much. Amy, I get you. The, the struggle is real, right? Hey, guys, there are nine people on and only uh, eight people on and five likes. Nine people on and five likes. If you haven't hit that like button, hit that like button. Hey, Sherry, how are you? Sherry, you should get a dog. If you have the if you have the uh, time to take care of one, it's so worth it. Oh yeah, the baby is so out of it, and I'm, and I'm uh, comforting him, trying to keep him relaxed. He is out cold. Yes, and that he really is. We had a big day at the family today. You know, Thanksgiving. We had about twenty two folks at my parents' house today. Hey, Madden, how are you? Happy Thanksgiving. Hope you had a great day today. I know, Amy. I'm sure you do. Maybe uh, I feel like there's another Boston out there that would appreciate your love. You should definitely consider it when you're ready. Dang it. Minnesota scored against us. We're losing by six points, soon to be seven. Dang it. I'm watching the football game. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of people. My mom does a ton of work. She has two kitchens. Um, it's very traditional in Portuguese households to have multiple kitchens. So they had two, she had two turkeys going at the same time, which was good. Um, but she's used to it. She does an amazing job. I'm like insanely impressed with what she does. Sorry, guys. Amy, I forget. You're from Syracuse, right? You know what? My opinion on that, Amy, is you, you, will, you will see the right Boston for you, and you'll just know. That's how I felt about him. My first Boston passed also. And um, when, I, when I laid eyes on Calvin, I just knew. I'm like, I have to have him. Like, there was just something that spoke to me. And then when I found out he was half brothers with my prior boss in that past, I'm like, it just made, it validated everything. And it was awesome. 
Amy, I saw your comment that you cooked. Yeah, that's a lot of, it's, preparing for Thanksgiving is a lot of work. I totally appreciate everybody that does it. Hey, everybody, we have 11 people on and seven likes. If you're on and haven't hit the like button, really hit that like button. I would appreciate it so much. It would mean the world to us. Hey, Robert, I just saw you come in. I, I missed your original chat, but I see it now. Thank you so much for being here, Robert. Hey, I appreciate Robert, it. I just saw you come in. I, I missed your original chat, but I see it now. Thank you so much for being here, Robert. I appreciate it. I just saw you come in. I missed your original chat, but I see it now. Thank you so much for being here, Robert. I appreciate it. So did everybody have a nice Thanksgiving today? So did everybody have a nice Thanksgiving today? Yeah, Annette, that's my fault. I have my other phone on. I'll I will lower it. Good call. I hear it too. Yeah, Annette, that's my fault. Okay, that should be better. I know, Yvette. The tongue is too cute. I agree. Annette, what time do you normally go to bed? So you slept until six. Do you go to Do you go to bed at about noon? Is that about? Excuse me. You go to bed about like eleven a.m., ten a.m. Guys, look at Calvin. He's so cute. Look at his tongue sticking out. I always find I find that interesting that folks like just, you know, they the, people's sleep patterns is always interesting to me. I do I do work like, you know, in the day during the daytime from like 8 to 5, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., so I tend to I tend to go to bed usually around like 11 p.m. to like 11.30 p.m., midnight at the latest, and I get up usually around 6 a.m., 6.30. So I know most people say you should get seven to eight hours of sleep, but I'm probably more on the six to seven hours to sleep time frame. Oh, yes, Robert. Uh, Calvin had a great Thanksgiving. Um, I'm usually very careful about what we feed him, but I had to give him a little bit of turkey, and he really, really liked it. And um, I'm pretty sure it made him sleepy, just like it made me sleepy. Annette, that's pretty funny. I hear you. Some days I'm the same way, honestly. It just it's just tough because I go to I have to go to work. So like if I don't get my sleep and then I have to go to work the you know the next day it's it's very tough. So like if I don't get my sleep and then I have to go to work the you know the next day it's it's very tough. You're right Amy, he's not snoring. Does everybody uh, have a nice Thanksgiving today or? Mm. 
Oh, Annette, I have to work still. I'm only, I'm only in my mid forties. I have a good fifteen to seventeen years left to go in the workforce, unless I hit it big in the lottery. He's definitely not snoring. It's, it's very nice to have him peaceful like this. Yeah, Amy, I hear you. I'm about, I'm like 10 to, about 10 years older than you. And uh, maybe a little less than 10 years older than you, but close. So I have quite a ways to go myself. Oh, Annette, I, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I'm not weak, I guess, but I could be better in the strength department. Oh, Annette, I, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I'm not weak, I guess, but I could be better in the strength department. Yeah, Sherry, I'm so sorry to hear that, um. I heard that you weren't feeling the greatest today, but hopefully you're on the mend for tomorrow and you guys have a great day tomorrow. Sometimes Thanksgiving, like on a different day, is a little cooler. Look at my boy. I, I absolutely love that he's so peaceful like this. It's such a nice, it's so, it's soothing to see him this way. It really is. <laughs> I absolutely love that he's so peaceful like this. It's such a nice, it's so, it's soothing to see him this way. It really is. Close up of the tongue. Oh, Sherry, it was such a, such a, such a debate, but I, I call it stuffing, but there are people here who do call it dressing, but most people I think call it stuffing on the East Coast. Hey, Chester Marie, thank you for being here. You are absolutely correct. A tired dog and a happy dog. He got a little bit of turkey. So the Trista fam is kicking in on him, just like it did all the humans that had it. And um, we, had, we had quite a few children at the uh, Thanksgiving celebration today. Uh, and, uh, you know, it was a little overwhelming for him. And pretty much all the other adults. <laughs> we probably had, no lie, like eight to nine children who were under the age of 10 at the uh, Thanksgiving uh, celebration today. And it's a breath of fresh air, like in some ways, like it's so great to see that next generation. But it, it was a little loud today at the house, but we, we may do. So for those who celebrated Thanksgiving today or who celebrate Thanksgiving, what is your favorite part of the meal? So 
For me, I love my mom's uh, stuffing or dressing, as other people call it. But it's absolutely delicious. It's it's like my favorite side dish of all time. Yeah, Chester Marie, I agree. Stuffing, one hundred all day. Usually Calvin is near the uh, near the uh, the kitchen cupboard over there waiting for me to dole out treats, but he's he's so tuckered out. Oh, so Sherry, we my mom makes like a Portuguese style stuffing, so she'll take Vienna bread and she'll uh, take it out of the you know, the bag and basically leave it out for two days and let it get stale. And then she'll take off all the crust and then she'll basically uh, make that in like, she'll soak that in water. And then my mom will also use like uh, ground, a little bit of ground beef, not a lot. Uh, she'll use... Two packages of Portuguese chorizo, celery, onion, and I'm missing one other ingredient, some other ground meat. She'll cook that for quite a bit, combine everything, and then she'll put her turkeys in the oven for about five hours. But when she does that, she'll stuff the bird with the, the stuffing. It's just so delicious. It's ridiculous. I sent Jack a picture, actually, earlier today of the stuffing. It was so good. Oh, it's so good, Annette. It's really good, Sherry. It's my favorite, it's my favorite dish of the Thanksgiving uh, meal, and there's a lot of stuff. So my mom slow roasts the, the turkey. She'll put it in at, like, 2 a.m. the night before, and she'll cook it at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Alexa, what's 275 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? 275 degrees Fahrenheit is 135 degrees Celsius. So she'll cook it at 135 degrees Celsius for about, for about five to six hours. And the, the turkey just comes out so moist. Uh, Annette, when you say no crust, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Do you mean no skin or no, like, uh, breading? It has, it definitely has skin on it for sure. It just, it just, with the stuffing, the, the, the cavity of the bird is empty and that's where they put the stuffing. But the, the, the turkey definitely has skin on it, if that's what you're asking. So Chester Marie, I brought home enough leftovers for probably like two to three meals. It all depends on how like how much I want to eat, but I definitely have some leftovers for sure. Hey, Jack, I just saw your message. So I have another phone playing. I know somebody heard an echo, 
But the reason why I have another phone on is so I can see all the messages that come through. But I can't see all the messages on my live stream. Like, I can't see, like, for example, I didn't see Jack's message that said lasagna. Oh, Yvette, I love to do that, too, actually. I saw your comment about mixing everything together. I'm the same way. Oh, so Chester Marie, the pie situation. Uh, so I sent a picture to Jack, who was on this uh, stream, with the dessert table we had. And uh, we had about 25, 26 people at the, uh, the Thanksgiving celebration, and we probably had about 21 desserts on the dessert table. It's, it's overboard. It's way too much, but that's just how we roll. Uh, Sherry, I haven't been exactly at Christmas time, but I've been during the Christmas season and I've seen the light, the, the tree lit up and, you know, all of that. So it's beautiful, but I haven't actually been right around the holiday precisely. Amy, are you, how long will the leftovers last you, uh, last you? So, Annette, my mom made about four or five desserts, and then people brought other stuff. That's just way too much for her, but she makes quite a bit. There's some staples that she makes that everybody wants. And, like, my mom made a rice pudding. She made a, a chocolate chip, uh, like, pumpkin cake, a pumpkin, uh, a... Uh, she made also a... Um, a carrot cake... She made a, a flan. She made quite a few things. Yeah, Sherry. So my job was to bring the uh, garden salad. I, there were 21, 23 people. So I had to make three full bowls, pretty good-sized bowls of salad. So I put, like, a spring mix, uh, grape tomatoes, salad onion, croutons, uh cran dried cranberry, feta cheese, uh red bell pepper, black olive. Uh I'm missing a few couple of other things, but the salad was really, really, really good. Thanksgiving is really my favorite one of my favorite holidays. It really is. So what are your, what's your favorite holiday? Most people say Christmas, and that's up there for me, but I love Thanksgiving because it makes me reflect a lot, and also it, it has, like, to me, it's got a lot of my comfort foods that I love.
So, Annette, Thanksgiving is actually only one day here. Sadly, it's only today. But a lot of companies do close the day after Thanksgiving, so tomorrow. But I work at a bank, and technically we're open, but I had to use a... I used a, a vacation day so I could take tomorrow off, but technically we are open. So tomorrow is what, what they call Black Friday in America and probably other parts of the world, but it's a gigantic shopping day where they have a lot of really good sales where people fight over like the hottest products. But I don't take, take advantage of any of that. But what I'm going to do tomorrow, because we are going to get a little bit of rain, and usually um, I start decorating for Christmas, and I may do some of that on the inside. But tomorrow I am going to work on my holiday cards for my family and friends. But I'm also going to do something special. I'm going to take... I'm going to make some Calvin the Boston Terrorist holiday cards, and I'm going to do something really cool where I try to uh, want to give some away to some of our fans and friends because I think uh, it's about time we do that. Oh, Yvette, I missed your earlier comment. So what did I have for dessert? I had some of my mom's rice pudding. And then I had uh, I had a, a few of her biscuits. I had some uh, Pizzelli's. And I think I had one other thing. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but there were like 20 to 25 desserts on the table, and I literally had about four or five things. But I didn't go overboard. All the portions were very, very small. I love Halloween, too, for that reason. I just wish Halloween was more like... Um, I wish Halloween was always on a weekend. And I like apple pie, too. I love pumpkin pie. I love a lot of different pies. I love, actually, I love blueberry pie. Blueberry pie is amazing. Yeah, if I, I guess any, like, holiday is the most fun on a weekend because you don't have to worry about getting up the next day and being, like, really tired. So this this weekend, this year... Christmas Eve falls on a Saturday, Christmas on a Sunday, and the banks uh, observe Christmas on the Monday. All right, so I'm watching. I'm watching the uh, Patriots play against Minnesota. It's been a. It's been a tough game. Oh, that's a nice. Oh, we lost. We lost to the Minnesota Vikings by seven points. Uh-oh, not good. All good, Sherry. It was a fun game. Oh, Jack likes cherry, uh, blueberry and cherry. I'm not a huge cherry pie fan, but I like I like blueberry pie quite a bit. All right, we're gonna we're gonna focus on Calvin.
Look at his tongue, everybody. Oh, thank you so much, Amy. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving and have a great time with your friend. Have a good night. Oh, thank you so much, Amy. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, Jack, no worries. It's all good. I didn't actually expect us to win. Um, but, our, but our offense looked way better than it has been. I didn't actually expect us to win. But... Um, it's all good. We're playing Buffalo next Thursday. That's going to be another tough game. But, um, it's all good. We're playing Buffalo next Thursday. That's going to be another tough So does everybody else get sleepy after they have turkey? Let me tell you, I had some turkey today, obviously, like everybody else. And I I am convinced that turkey, the tristafam in turkey really makes people sleepy. It's amazing how tired I get after I have a few slices of turkey. All right, good. I'm glad it's just not me. Look at the baby sleeping right here. Isn't it so cute? God dang, it's so annoying. It's so amazing, I should say, not annoying. Too cute, right, Jack? It's amazing. I'm so fortunate to have him. I'm not even... Today's Thanksgiving, right? And there's a lot to be thankful about, but I have to say I'm very, very thankful that Cal became a part of my life. I saw him, and when I saw him, I knew right away I'm like, I need to have him. And I'm so glad the breeder who had him, who I've had experience with before, felt the same way. It was just a match made in heaven. So Sherry, yes, pretty much. Every once in a while, he'll get up like middle of the night and want to go outside. But for the most part, He's pretty good at in the evening. Like I take him out usually before we go to bed, and then, like he he'll sleep the whole night, or he doesn't need to go out the whole night. And then typically when I wake up and when I'm ready, getting ready to go to work, he will just hang out and sleep on the couch or wherever he's sleeping. And um, he gets ready to come out when he knows I'm getting ready to leave. Yes, Chester Marie. I actually flew to Memphis. I actually flew to Memphis. It was the day after Christmas, 2019. I left, at, I left my house at about 3.30 in the morning, got a like 5.30 or 6 a.m. flight, stopped in Baltimore, made it to Memphis at about 9.30, 10 a.m. Memphis time. The breeder met me at about 9.30, 10 o'clock, basically when I got there and got off. The airport, she was there waiting for me, which was awesome. And then I hung out with her, her son, and the dog, Calvin, 
probably for like five hours, five or six hours. And then I had to go back to the airport and flew back home the same day. And I got home at about 1130 midnight, my time. So it was the longest day ever, but it was so worth it. Uh, thanks, Annette. Yeah, I appreciate that. I, I I love him to pieces. He's such a great dog. Yeah, sure. He got a lot of stimulation today for sure. Yeah, I appreciate that. I, I, I love him to pieces. He's such a great dog. Yeah, sure. He got a lot of stimulation today for So does anybody uh, have any good plans this weekend? I'm probably going to start decorating the home, my home, for Christmas. So does anybody uh, have any good plans this weekend? I'm probably going to start decorating the home, my home, for Christmas. Hey, Kevin, Tiki, and Tani, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. Happy Thanksgiving, you guys. Hey, Kevin, Tiki, and Tani, how are you? Yes, he's definitely asleep. He had a long day today for Thanksgiving, so uh, he's got a well-deserved nap now. Awesome, Yvette. That's so cool. We are getting rain tomorrow, so we'll play. I'll play the outside by ear, but I'm definitely going to get all my inside stuff up. So, Sherry... I had, I usually, like most of the time I get a real Christmas tree, but about three, three years ago I bought a artificial, which I didn't really want to do, but at the same time I'm like, it's just so much easier. They look way more real now than they used to, and I think it's just right for me. So I, that's what I did. I ended up getting a fake tree, but when I look at it, I'm like, oh my God, it looks, it looks so realistic. It's like amazing how they do that now. Yeah, Annette, you're, you're right. So in America, not everybody will decorate tomorrow, but a lot, of, a lot of people usually basically say the Christmas season starts the day after Thanksgiving, and then they'll keep all their stuff up until like New Year's Eve or day or a day after. But some people are the same way. They, they may put their tree up like the week before thanks, uh, sorry, the week before Christmas. And then take it down like a couple of days or a day after. But we, traditionally, we, in my family at least, try to, basically we recognize the Christmas season immediately after Thanksgiving until like New Year's, basically. In my family at least, try to, basically we recognize the Christmas season immediately after Thanksgiving until like New Year's, basically. Exactly, Sherry, I agree with you. So, like, I'll put the tree up, and I don't have to worry about it dying out. Sometimes I would get, tr like, real trees, and, you know, some of them would last through the season, and it'd be like, oh, wow, this was perfect. And then sometimes you'd buy a tree. It looked great when you got it off the lot. And then, like, you know, a week, two weeks later, it's like, okay, it's not retaining any water you put in it and would die out, which is never fun. Yeah, Yvette, I usually take my Christmas tree down like New Year's Day night or like the day after. That's usually when I take it down because I put my tree up like right after Thanksgiving. So it's like five, six weeks. And at that point, I'm like, okay, it was awesome, but it's time to, you know, time to let it go. So Annette, is January 6th 
the epiphany is that is that the is that the sort of significance around January sixth? Oh, I bet. No worries about that. I know people who keep a Christmas tree up year round or close to it. They just they they have like a big enough house where they store it in a room where nobody really goes in, and they're like, "Yeah, we'll just leave it there." And like they won't like keep the lights on or anything like that. They'll like un illuminate unilluminate it, but like they're like, you know what? We don't have to like redecorate it the next year, so they'll just like store it away, and then. And then basically just say, okay, I'm done. And now I'm, I'm almost thinking maybe I should do that because at the end of the day, I, I keep my Christmas tree when it's not used down in the basement and nobody sees it. So if I just keep it down there and nobody sees it, all I have to do is bring it back up and it's already decorated. <laughs> Thanks, Annette and Sherry, for confirming that. That's what I figured. That's when I thought more, like a lot of like religious people took the tree down. Thanks, Annette and Sherry, for confirming that. That's what I figured. I am a, I am a Catholic, and I do like occasionally go to church. I am, I believe in all of that, and I don't want to like get too like deep in the religious or political speak, but, but I just usually take down the tree. Right after the holiday, after the New Year's holiday, mainly because I'm off that day and it's just easier to do it, and that's when most people do it. But I knew there was something about the Epiphany and Christmas trees, so thank you for confirming that. I know, Jack. It's amazing how different he is because usually during most of the live streams. He is going right in front of the uh, cupboards that you see at the far left of my screen because I usually have T-R-E-A-T-S there. But he had a big day at the grandparents' house for Thanksgiving. So he's just too tired to even do that. So it makes this live a lot easier. I really appreciate you guys being here tonight. I know it's uh, Thanksgiving Eve, so I wasn't really expecting really anybody on, but you know, if there were a couple people, I would have been happy with that. So I do appreciate you guys being here. Thanksgiving Eve, so I wasn't really expecting really anybody on, but thanks Tiki, Danny, and Kevin. I appreciate that. It's a very small house. It's only a two bedroom home. Pretty turnkey though. I try to keep it in good shape. Okay. Sorry about that, Annette. It could it could be my connection. I, I have no I have no clue. It sounds good on my end, but I know sometimes on the receiving end the lives can cut in and out, which stinks. I wish it was I wish it was a better connection, but it's a little bit out of my control. So Chester Marie, no, I'm not going black shopping Friday, but I am going to make my Christmas cards tomorrow. And then I'm also going to make some special cards slash pictures for Calvin's channel. And I'm going to uh, do something really nice for our, for my subscribers, for, for those who, uh, for those who uh, get involved with what I'm asking them to do, let's put it that way. And did you guys see my last short? 
if we monetize, which I'm not really close to doing, you need 4,000 watch hours on YouTube, and I'm only at about 1,650. So if you guys could watch some of my uh, playlists, if you could just run them, that would be so appreciated. But I need 4,000 watch hours in a 12-month period. And if I do that, I am going to make merchandise for Calvin's channel, some T-shirts, maybe coffee mugs, keychains, things like that. And we're going to get Calvin's face out there all over the world so people know who he is. So thank you so much. Annette, no, I didn't see your... Do you have shorts? I'll check out your channel. I'll check out the videos after this live stream. Mm. Annette, no, I didn't see your... Do you have shorts? I'll check out your channel. I'll check out the videos after this live stream. Yeah, thanks, Annette. I really appreciate it. Again, I would love everybody's help with this. Um... I I just think Calvin needs to be seen by more people. I try really hard here. I appreciate everybody who supports us, though. Like you have no idea. It's it's amazing the community we built, and I'm so appreciative of that. But like I think there are other people who need to see what Calvin's all about. So if you guys can share our videos, you know, definitely keep you know put play our playlists. And like our videos if you haven't done that. That will get our videos out there to more people. Oh, Annette, that's so cool. We love Hendo. I'll definitely, I'll, tech, I'll check out your shorts. And uh, short videos in the next day or so. I promise. Yeah, that's so cool. We love Hendo. I'll definitely, I'll, tech, I'll check out your shorts. And uh, short videos in the next day or so. I Wow, we've been going live for 53 minutes. It's amazing how fast it goes. Yep, exactly, Jack Tate. Yeah, exactly. I love making short videos. It's uh, it's definitely uh, they're easier. I love going live because a, I love talking to you, all of you, but it's also easier because there's no editing involved. So anybody new who's joined the chat, if you haven't hit that like button, please hit that like button. I would really appreciate that. So Annette, you don't need to do too much with short videos. They're 15 seconds to a minute at most. People don't expect a lot of fanfare. They just want to bang for their buck. They want to see if you're playing shorts and you tell them what you're going to deliver, they want to see it right away. And if you're doing that, you're golden. All right, we're at 55 minutes. That's pretty cool. All right, we're at 55 minutes. That's pretty cool. All right, we're at 55 minutes. So, okay, well, let me, I'm going to sign off in about a couple minutes or so. It's uh, it's getting late here. It's eleven forty-four p.m. on Thanksgiving. Sign off in about a couple 
I do have tomorrow off, which is great. I took a vacation day from work. And I'm going to work on a few other things. And um, I am uh, so excited to talk to you guys today. It was a great time, and uh, I hope you guys had a nice day and nice Thanksgiving if you're from the United States. And uh, we will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for your support. We really, really, really appreciate it. Have a, have a great evening. Take care.